<laughs> oh, wow. Wow. That was one of the most shocking moments in Oscars history. Will Smith walking up on stage and slapping Chris Rock in the face after Rock made a joke about his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. Smith had always a, this reputation as a nice guy, a rapper who didn't curse. Does this threaten all that and hurt his Hollywood bankability? Or does it do the opposite and turn him into the next Bond villain? Let's ask Julia Borston. She joins us now with more. Julia? Well, Kelly, it is too soon to say how this will impact Will Smith's career. On one hand, Smith drew applause when he walked into the Vanity Fair party last night after the show. And some people are telling me that nothing will happen now. But I'm also hearing that some Academy members are pushing for Smith to apologize to Chris Rock. No word yet from the Academy, which last night said, quote, it does not condone violence of any form. Now, Smith is known as one of the most bankable global movie stars. He and his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, have built a media empire, Westbrook Entertainment. It sold a 10% stake at a $600 million valuation to Tom Staggs and Kevin Mayer's Blackstone-backed Candle Media back in January of this year. Now, the company has made a wide range of content for a range of buyers, from King Richard for Warner Brothers to Cobra Kai for Netflix, Red Table Talk for Facebook, plus a Snapchat series, Will From Home. Now, Apple TV Plus spent a reported $100 million plus for Emancipation, which stars Smith and is set to be released later this year. Reputation expert Mike Paul tells us that the right thing for Smith to do to protect his business interests is to make a very humble, sincere apology to Chris Rock to earn back trust, noting that many contracts today have what's called a morality clause that prohibits certain types of behavior. Now, we've reached out to a range of studios that have content deals with Smith, and we have not gotten any comments back just yet. Guys? Has Chris Rock been heard from on this? I mean, he, he, he spoke last night after he was slapped, and I think yeah. that's what, what, uh, what was so notable here. But um, I haven't seen any official response or comment from him. There's this question about whether he was going to press charges. From what I've seen, he has not pressed charges. Can you imagine if he pressed charges? That would yeah. Be, <laughs> this I is, mean, by the way, the two ratings. of the highest profile guys in, high, in entertainment. Yes, I mean, and everyone's like, but, how, but if it was scripted, but then Lady Gaga didn't show up or something, and maybe the joke fell through. I'm just reporting what I hear in chat rooms, Julia. What about the ratings? This did a lot, actually, to boost them, didn't it? Well, no, I would say that this actually happened way too late in the show to actually impact really? the ratings because this was in the last half an hour of the show and the show was, you know, uh, over three hours long. So too late in the show to really have an impact, but it did have an impact in terms of how much people are talking about the Oscars so that, today. So the ratings last night. Yeah, that number. Sorry, then, Kelly? So if you're saying basically that 15 million number that we saw, which was up like 50 percent from the previous year, that was kind of earned and organic even going into that moment? Yes, so that, so last night, 15.3 uh, million people tuned in. That was up from 10.5 million the year before. But the year before was that weird year when there really hadn't been many theatrical releases. It was held not in the typical theater with a lot of the same celebrities. Yeah, it was different. And it's actually, last night's ratings were the second lowest ratings of all time and only the second time that ratings have ever dipped below 20 million. I think so, so, yes, it was up from the very bizarre year, but still way down from the kinds of numbers the Oscars were getting. I think the Oscars better. have lost their fizz because people aren't going to theaters as much and they're watching on streaming. Bottom line, your gut instinct, does this make him, Will Smith, less bankable? Yes or no? I think that he's probably going to apologize or do something, whether it's on Red Table Talk with his wife uh, and have it be there. But I think there's going to be some conversation here. I can't imagine that it really dies just the way it is right now. All right. Thanks Julia a lot, Beth. Julia.